Hello everyone, today I'm just going to be doing a quick little video on coloring skin and hair. Originally this was going to be more of a full body pose, but um, for this video I just wanted it to be a little more simple. And as you can see, I configured my settings, so I am now in the bottom left of the video. And um, I don't know, t let me know if you like it or not. Uh, I, I just want to be more... Uh, what's it called? Showy. Because I, I want to do this more and it makes it funner if I'm like there, I guess. And also like talking at the same time while I'm drawing. <laughs> Even though um, it's definitely harder. So I'm just going to be going through and kind of painting through the hair. Um, I do a lot of color picking and usually when I'm drawing hair I, I try to keep this lower section a lot darker just because it's more behind the head and you can well you can take some of the color from up in here and uh, kinda bring it down to um, give it some details as if like it's more flowy and there's some strands in there um, I don't paint curly hair very much I totally should it's super rad but um, it definitely takes a lot more planning as um, as counterintuitive as that might sound because um you because uh, well curls ha still have a pattern to them even if they look wild and crazy at least with most people's hair and uh especially if it's styled i you can you can look at um references for this and just maybe look at like black girls with um afro like hair or i mean i guess other there are definitely other races who have this type of hair, but it's m mostly common with uh, black girls or the like. Um, so you, you want to study up on those girl that type <coughs> that type of hair, and it's always gonna have like little ringlets sticking out. I would know because I used to have this kind of hair until I went through a change. <laughs> um, yes. So I'm going to be doing drawing videos but also talking videos like the one I recently posted on my channel and you guys seem to like that a lot so I'm going to be doing that more because it's fun for me and I like talking and uh, I like the drawing stuff too but it is harder to do especially talking at the same time because I get distracted very easily I'm just like ooh that was a pretty curl cool. I'm going to do more um, but yeah a lot of doing hair is just kind of being gentle, shaping it out, erasing what's not working, and I don't know, just have fun with it. You can always keep <coughs> going, but uh, and you can always go back, especially with um, digital. Digital is great for that. You can kind of do it in regular painting as well, but it is more difficult. So. I always have a dilemma when I'm painting faces. I always want that shiny dot on there, but I find it looks a lot more natural and appealing if I kind of just make it a more highlighted section. It looks uh, more realistic because even though it does happen on people, like they'll get a highlight, it's usually not that strong. And what I have been doing recently, especially on my realistic stuff, is just taking a very light green highlight and kind of hiding it in there and it tends to give it that um what's it called holographic is that the makeup thing that's going on uh holographic look so just kind of keep going through adding in those shinies kind of pronouncing more and more and on these lips i'll add a little bit of that greenness because lips are red and it will give it that contrast that we need to make it pop Besides, who doesn't like a good, nice, full set of lips? I know, I do. Whoa, oh, oh. <coughs> Again, still sick. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm probably dying. Hopefully. Get these eyelashes in there. I need to draw more brown people. I always think about it. I'm just like, ah, I will, eventually. But, uh... Yeah, so just just need to get um, more variants in like my people. As you guys were saying, a lot of my characters look a lot like me, and I'm just like, oh, that's so true. I need to fix that. 
Um, I think they're cute, which I guess I'm not saying I think I'm cute. I don't know. But um, I want to have more variants because I definitely have a bit of same face syndrome. Like, I've hardcore drawn this face before. And even though I obviously like doing it, uh, I would like to have more diversity in my art. So, I wasn't too concerned about what she was wearing because, <coughs> again, I was mostly focusing on the face like I always do. And I don't really recommend that, honestly. I think you should plan out the whole drawing first, have it really nice so you can have a nice, full, developed character. But knowing me and my bad habits, I always tend to kind of fudge, <coughs> fudge it a bit and do... Um, Portraits. I do love portraits. Like, that's what I feel I'm the best at. But I do want to get more into like character design and character studies. And you can't just draw faces for that as much as we all would love to. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to make her hair a little bit darker. Darker. Um, just using like an overlay layer. Let's see. Hmm. Need some blues. Yes, so I'm going to erase out what I don't want, and at um, pretty low opacity. So it still keeps some of that nice here, but it doesn't overwhelm it. Okay, so to continue, um, I just, I lowered the opacity on this a little bit, and I was just checking over your stuff to make sure uh, it was going how I wanted it to, and while looking at this, I realized she kind of looks like a cat, so I might add or try to add some ears. We'll see how it goes. Boop. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm probably going to end up erasing it. I might end up doing live streams. I did want, I did <laughs> some a long time ago, and I kind of stopped because family stuff. But I could do it now if you guys would be interested in something like that. I'd want to like <coughs> answer questions and just be be uh, more involved. I know I used to be a lot more. Like I used to do Skype and stuff, and eventually I think I would like to get back into doing that. I just. I'm so bad about <laughs> keeping track of people, even people I like, like, I really, like, I'm so bad about it, like, even texting people, I'm just like, mm, what if they don't want to talk to me, there's only been, like, one person that I've talked to long, a long time, well, long relatively, that, um, I've kept up with like that, because I, I don't know, they're special to me. Also funny, like I, if you're funny, I will talk to you all the time. <coughs> I have a very like stupid sense of humor. Like it's kind of cute, crude, but also, oh, actually, my sense of humor is mostly puns. Like, if you can punish me correctly, I will be very happy, but also very upset because I'm just like, why didn't I think of that? And then I'll punch you. Yeah, punch, I'll punch. Yeah. Uh, I should stop talking. Don't want to get myself in trouble. <coughs> um, but yes, I think the cat ears are working interestingly. Good or bad, it's still interesting. Oh wait, I can't do this. Fuck. I mean, not fuck. Uh, frick. Uh, she has human ears already. I always make that mistake. Like I'll be like. Ah, yeah, she'll look good, or the character will look good with, um, cat ears, but then I forget that they already have human ears, and that's not okay, so what we're gonna do is paint over them. Which is really funny, because it's like, if they, you never see a cat person without a lot of hair, like, you, you'd never see, like, <coughs> a bald kitty girl, because they just look, they'd have no ears, it looks so weird. I guess the ears could be like, let's see, they could be like, Hello, I'm a kitty. Or, no, I want to be, be like this. 
and there's your hair. And then I guess the ears could be like here. <laughs> that looks so weird. It, ha it usually has to be like do, do. Yeah, I'll stop doing that. Uh, yes. So. Ooh. Uh oh. I actually want a bigger comb, so. Usually I'll do, um, like a medium color, then get the light color and paint back into it so it has the edge and it doesn't look like this. The hair is, like, merging into her skin. Which can be a style, I guess, but not for me. I feel like I keep, like, talking and my voice gets all like weird and accenty but I swear I'm doing it on accident it's like why did you say I I don't know what's wrong with me my voice changes so much when I talk <laughs> like I feel like even like the transitions that my voice probably got a lot deeper like as I get more confident my voice gets deeper it's really strange Ooh. um do I want to worry about her clothes not really I think she looks cute. I wish I had cat ears. Sometimes. Um. Yes. So. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm just trying to figure out how how to make this look right. I feel like there's a lot of confusion going on with the hair. Let's see if we can. Uh, Get it out of this hairy situation. If you're not careful, you'll get a hairball. Good hair. <coughs> this video is just gonna be me coughing at the end. Okay, there we go. I always flip to make sure my proportions are right, and you should too. I think flipping is just you plus H and you're good to go. Um, so yeah, it was mostly just a video on how to draw hair, I guess, or paint hair, and also just me talking randomly about shit, so, hopefully it was interesting enough, if it wasn't, I guess we'll find out, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon, bye-bye!